Fora TV. The world is thinking. This is a really cheap radio-controlled plane. It's called an Easy Star. You can buy it for about $60. Um, it's a great plane to fly. It's easy to learn. It's uh, very hard to crash. Okay, so that's an RC plane. Recommended. We like, okay, well, let's give this plane a brain. So here's what we added to it. Um, this, is the, this is the Easy Star. This is that thermopile, that infrared sensor. That goes on the top. Um, that determines the XY orientation. This right here is a Z sensor. This determines, this is, sort of tells you what the sky and the ground look like. So it calibrates the thermopiles so you know right off the, ha right, right off the bat um, what's up and what's down. This is the GPS module. This tells you where, where you are. Um, now here on the bottom, this right here is, a, is an XB um, uh, wireless modem. And it communicates with our laptop and tells you in real time where we are. Um, it's got the... Um, if you come by the booth over at the, at the Maker Shed, we'll show you all the detail. It shows you the airspeed, your direction, your, your orientation, your latitude, longitude, your battery the strength, and all that in real time. So that's telemetry. This right here is a, is a still and a video camera. So we, we record the whole mission, and we can do it, either record it, record it so you can see it on the ground, or we can do real-time wireless uh, downloads so you can watch it in real time. Then once you go inside the canopy, um, oh, uh, I'll show you the other parts. Um, There you go. Um, so this is this is it. This is the um, this is the autopilot. It's uh, Arduino compatible board. Now Arduino is an open source um, uh, computing platform which is really taking off. You'll see tons of it over there in the maker shed. What we've done is we've taken Arduino, we've customized it so it's perfect for an autopilot. It has a couple things that make it special. First of all, it's very small. Second of all, it's got a, a radio control interface. So you can switch between manual and autonomous mode. So you take off manually, and then when you get in the air, you just flick a switch on your transmitter, and it goes into autonomous mode. It's got a fail-safe function. So if things go wrong, if, um, say, the software crashes or whatever, you can just flick a switch. doesn't matter if the computer's crashed. You can always regain control. Um, this one has a differential pressure sensor. So it's connected to a little pitot tube up here, and the air coming into it will tell you how fast it's going. Um, it's got, um, it's got, it's got uh, memory for about uh, how many waypoints at this point? Um, about 100 waypoints, 100 uh, three-dimensional waypoints. That's latitude, longitude, and altitude. And, um, and it flies the plane. So once you flick that switch in your transmitter, this, this, this Arduino um, uh, uh, autopilot, which we're selling for, I think um, uh, SparkFun is selling for, uh, which we designed, but SparkFun is selling and is over now in the maker shed as well, is $25. Um, so the combination of all these sensors, GPS, thermopiles, pressure, temp uh, 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 voltage, etc., all that is sufficient for this Arduino-compatible $25 autopilot to fly the plane exactly where you want to go, do, do patterns, figure eights, squares, go come home, you know, any pattern you want, pre-programmed, and then it reports in real time what's going on. So that is, this is about $600, all told. We only sell the autopilot and the, uh, and the accessories to it. You then combine it with this kind of any, com any RC plane you want, and you've got a $600 UAV, which compared to a Predator is kind of amazing. Um, now, a, sh a word about safety. Uh, we always fly below 400 feet. We always fly within line of sight. So although you could fly miles and miles away, uh, we don't we tell you not to. And uh, we actually have the autopilot set up, so if you go below beyond 2,000 meters away, it'll automatically come back home. It's a great fail-safe function if you're flying RC, by the way. If a plane flies away, after 2,000 meters, it'll come back home automatically. So this is kind of, this is kind of the basic UAV. This is the, this is the minimum of what you can do.